what he did. I'll put a bit of water. But it's gotten it, it's nice, smells nice. Gotta wait an hour. Smashed it, of course. What do you think? Huh? What did you think? It was nice, to be fair. You don't like tomatoes or lettuce, so. But over there, that is really nice, wasn't it? I think she'll go to the beach now. So we've been for breakfast and now we have just been to get a moped each. We got it for 1.2 million which in our one is about 52 pounds. For two bikes. Two bikes, for one each. Jordan's dead please, riding on the wrong side of the road. Um, but So now we've just come back, we're going to get the GoPro to take some footage um, while riding on the mopeds. And we're going to just go have a look around, maybe to the beach, if we can find one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a quick tour of the room. Right then. Wardrobe. Groovy bathroom. And then our bags, the doors, the curtain, and the bed. And a fan. So yeah, there's not much to it, but for the money, you can't really complain, can you, George? No. So, that's the room. Important one, if you feel wanna fall down, never going jump to the front or don't jump to the back. If you jump to the back, the ball punch your head. Okay. Not too close. So if you feel wanna fall down, just jump to the side or the side, yeah? Otherwise if you jump to the front, the ball gonna punch you. Yeah. Okay. You get it? You ready to rock and roll? <laughs> one more time now. Surfing lesson, not too bad. You want to clean with your mat? No, it hurt. But, Let uh, me show you. No, thank you. Got them some need. And then we're just having some local food. I've just had chicken and rice. And the barbecue chicken never that's very, very spicy, so that can be a food up. That was 60,000 in, in easy roof here. And then we've just got a bin tank and a smell of I think it worked out about one pound fifty each. Yeah, it's so uh, cheap, really. Thirty each, I think. The food's really cheap. What's that like? Three quid. Yeah. For two meals. It's good, that is. So yeah, gonna chill here. Maybe see the sunset. Depends. And then. Uh, Wait, what's this? What's this? Moves back on the 
my place. We'll update you later. Yeah. 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 Because basically I didn't have a Scooby where it was going and then I just pulled over because there's no one there to um, look at the maps. Obviously the policeman followed me anyway because obviously we were Western. But uh, basically me and you had to go follow the policeman and he went through the old, you have to pay 1.2 million was it? 1.2 million repair which is like 50 quid each for driving without the correct permit or what have you. It's quite a common scam in Thailand, it's supposed to be like a shack type building. But I sort of expected it. Anyway, basically I refused to pay and he got ended up getting angry and drove off. But he drove off with the papers for the bike. But anyway, basically, and then now we've got this doc oh, I'm zooming it. This document here. Uh, we've got two of them basically given to us saying that we're gonna pay a fine and that, although if you actually read on it. It doesn't say what fine you've got to pay or anything, he's just trying to bug you into doing it. If you go to the police, it gives you a date as of the 28th, which we're not here. You pay... 200k? Yeah, so if they tell you to pay 1.2 million, say no, it's a scam. They said normally that we obviously got a bad policeman, normally they only would charge you 200k on the spot bribe kind of thing. And I was crying and he still didn't care. May was crying, putting on the floods and that, but... He wasn't bothered. He didn't care, he honestly didn't care. Um, he was trying to dial us as well. We was there for what? How long? Like, probably half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Luckily, at one point he had our driving licenses, but luckily we swapped mm. for the thing because he knew he wouldn't get any, any money out of us. And obviously, um, he will get money from the government when the owners of the bike pay the fine. Yeah, basically, because we, we're not obviously here, he was telling us that we have to go to court. Jordan, and there's my and look what mine says. 
And so we're back at the apartment. We didn't go out, out tonight because we've both been so tired. So we'll just have to see what tomorrow brings. But basically, as you can see, <coughs> we're only um, like a five minute walk from the main. Oh no, look what I've done. No. <laughs> Sorry guys. So as you can see from the footage, we're literally like five minutes away from the main strip. And also we went obviously uh, the surfing lessons. As you'll see from the picture, that was the guy who we did the lesson with. Um, I'd definitely recommend finding them on the beach. Yeah, they were really good. They helped us find some of the street food that was on the beach. And also safe, like we left, we left our bag. And mm. he was like, if anyone touches it, I kill them. If you walk along uh, the beach and find Ricky's bar, they're just next door. Check out's at 12, so we're gonna probably have a cheeky little dip in the pool, check out, and obviously get some breakfast. We're gonna go up the road to the place with the surfboard that you've seen Jordan on. Tubes restaurant, that's cool. Tubes restaurant, they do like English breakfast. Not so just English, they do nice food there, for good prices. Yeah, like pizzas, English. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we've had a good day. Yeah. Goodbye, room. <laughs> Let's stop sending up. Unfortunately, Jordan booked the room for last night when actually we didn't do it for tonight.